The Carnegie Library building is a priority for restoration because it's a B-listed building. It's been empty since 2010. It was deteriorating quite badly. This regeneration project involved the Council, Clyde Valley Housing Association and Historic Scotland who have been working together with various grant funds to put the package together to redevelop and restore the building. It's a Grade B listed building in the middle of the conservation area and it makes a really strong contribution as a landmark to the special character of the conservation area. So it was very important for us to help to save that and we managed to do that through early engagement with the architects and Historic Environment Scotland. We had early discussions with the, the planning department at Historic Scotland where we, we walked around the building and visited. We, had, we made sure we understood it in its, its context and we, we made an assessment of the kind of relative heritage significance of each part of the building, um, recognising that something was going to have to change if this building was going to have a long-term future. The reuse of the building for housing is important because it contributes to the overall council's goal of bringing more people back into town centres. Clyde Valley Housing Association held a couple of open days which were very successful. Over 200 people came to have a look to see what we've been doing to their library. This is also a building which is much loved by residents in the community in Coatbridge. It's giving something back to the community. It's giving 12 affordable flats for use within the town centre. Um, so it's not just about conservation, it's about the community side of it as well. I really like the elevation onto Academy Street, I think, was always a favourite. It's a very well designed and very attractive elevation. It's got touches of kind of early Art Nouveau about it. In the foyer we were able to temporarily remove some of the timber screens, take them away, refurbish them and put them back in. And that really helped, I think, to preserve the character of the foyer and entrance space. This private walled garden is spectacular. It's an oasis of calm in what is quite a tight town centre. It's always nice to be on a project where you do get the sense that you're contributing to the community's enjoyment in the building. Generations of children have walked through these doors. This building is really important historically and culturally to the whole town. And it's very important. There's an emotional connection to the building. People have very special memories of spending lots of time in the library and now they're just happy that it's still here and it's looking as good as it does.